Well, Tom, was it murder or an accident? That's the big question in the Tex McIver murder trial. Jury selection started today. Now, McIver admits he shot his wife, Diane, as they drove with a friend near Piedmont Park in September of 2016. But he claims the gun accidentally went off. Prosecutors charged him with involuntary manslaughter in December of 2016. Then last April, a grand jury indicted McIver on malice murder and six other charges. Fox 5's Anjali Proctor was in the courtroom all day as the jury was chosen for McIver's trial. She joins us now live with the details. Anjali. Good afternoon, Sine. It's been jury selection slow going, but pretty thorough uh, all afternoon. These attorneys have been working diligently and right now they're just about at half of that first panel of 48. The one thing we've learned today is that some of these jurors have already made up their minds. The burden is 100% on the state to prove if it is able Mr. MacGyver's guilt beyond a reasonable doubt. Jury selection finally started Monday in the high-profile case of Atlanta attorney Tex McIver, who looks more like a fellow attorney than a murder suspect at the defense table. Prosecutors accused the 75-year-old of murdering his wife, Diane, as a friend drove the two through Midtown Atlanta. McIver told investigators he asked Diane to pass him the gun from the glove compartment because they were going through a rough part of town. He says the shooting was accidental, but prosecutors call it murder. One thing is clear, lots of potential jurors have heard about the case through media coverage. Have you, for any reason, already formed an opinion concerning the guilt or innocence of the defendant? We can't show you the potential jurors, but 15 raised their hands to the judge's question. One defense attorney tells us this process that is supposed to take three days is critical for both sides. I think jury selection is one of the most important um, portions of a case. It's why people hire consultants to help them with it. Um, it's also one of the most difficult. Now the judge has decided to step things up, already starting with a pretty aggressive schedule. He's working today until after 5 o'clock, possibly going to 6, to keep this jury selection moving. Reporting live in downtown Atlanta, Angelique Proctor, Fox 5 News. Yeah, a lot on the line for the defense. Angelique, thanks.